Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the bolt command and the basics around bolts. <clears throat> Alright, so first of all you need the UCS to be in the XY plane of where you need the bolt to be. So in this case I want the bolt to be on top of the plate. So that's why I have the X and Y this way and not, for example, this way because then I will place the bolt in the side of the plate. I can show you that in a moment. So now I have the UCS here on top and then I'm going to <clears throat> place the bolt with the first method um, and that is with this two points and the way that works is just you click on the plate and then you choose the corner and then the opposite corner you can see here there comes a a line and then you should click on the opposite corner and there you have your bolts then this window pops up and you can choose which bolt you want and the grade and size of the bolt. <clears throat> now you can go in the distance section and choose how many bolts you want in the X and Y. Uh, yeah, and then we can go down to the bottom here where it says edge distant, distance x and if we type 100 for example in here then you can see the bolt moves 100 millimeters in from both sides in the x uh, the way the x is pointing and same goes for the y you can move it 100 in, then it goes 100 in from both sides. So yeah, that was the first method of placing the bolt. The next method is the center point. Um, you click on it and choose the plate. Then you can click at the center, for example, you can see I've, I'm snapping to the point in the center of the plate. And then when I click, there comes a bolt where I, where I clicked. And then the same window pops up where we can choose how many bolts we want. Not 40. <laughs> uh, here. And now we don't have the possibility to use the edge distance because we only selected one point so it's going out from this point we cho chose so this is actually the millimeters between each bolt so if we say 100 here then there will come 100 in the y line and same goes for X, obviously, like this. So that's used if you cannot reach a corner or if we ju you just need one bolt. It's pretty easy just to pick this and then choose where you want to put the bolt here. And then type one bolt. And then you have a bolt where you point it. So <clears throat> now if we you, you have a um what can you say some kind of lid and you want a round circle of bolts I don't know uh you can use this here which is called center point and 
it works the same way. You choose the plate and then you click in the middle. And now you can see there comes a circle. And that's actually the radius of how long your bolt needs to be uh, out from this center. So I'm tapping 200 is the radius. So now my bolt is in a circle and the radius of the bolts is 200. And then you can go in here and now it doesn't say distance but size. And here we can change the radius. Uh, and then they move closer to the center point. And also we can decide how many bolts we want in the circle. And it is evenly uh, filled out. Yeah. If we have, let's say, two plates here, and we want the bolt to go through both of the plates, then we can choose the one that we like the most. And then you need to click on both the plates. And now you choose the point and there it goes through both plates. Because if you just choose one plate here, the top, I, I chose the top plate right now and then I click, then you can see it only goes through the first, the first plate that I chose, not both plates. Then you need to select both plates before you put the bolt. <clears throat> you can, obviously, after, then you can select this plate uh, so the bolt goes through this uh, plate also. And you do that with the next feature here. Add, add objects to connections. And the way that works is you click on it here. You click on the bolt. You click enter. And then you hit the plate that you want the bolt to go through. And you hit enter. And now it pops down so it's through the other plate also. So yeah, that was it for my first video. Um, thank you for watching. And if you have some questions, please tell me about them. And I'll make a video uh, about your question. I'll make an answer as quick as possible. So thanks for watching.